Tiff back again for another video and today I am not publishing this on a Monday so I wanted you guys to be able to hopefully be inspired to play and create in your journals this weekend and I have a different video that will be up on Monday. So now that that's out of the way, as you know we have been working or I've been working, what y'all been doing? I've been working in a brochure that I created into um, a journal. It's been a fun. This is the very last page in it. And I will be doing a flip through very soon. But I'm going right down. As you saw, I covered the whole page with gesso. And then I'm going in with nickel azo um, gold. Um, this is a um, fluid golden fluid fluid acrylics try to say that like three times fast uh yeah no and then i'm gonna go in with this light peachy color and of course i have left this in the other room hold tight okay had to go grab my recipe book and that is natural buff that i'm going in with um it's a light very light peachy color and then i'm gonna go in with sea breeze and I'm just really enjoying this palette. It, um, I don't know, it's kind of, um, reminds me of the sea in some aspects. Kind of the flow of how I kind of patchwork the colors together. And as you can see, I'm a super fan of painting with your fingers. I think it's a great way to connect with your piece and your art um, on a different level than you can with paint brushes. So I'm really just patchworking and um, this is not really something that I typically do is I kind of am more of someone who blends colors together. And then I went in with this quinacridone magenta and realized very quickly that no, this did not speak to my where I wanted it to be today. So I'm going in here with the chalk paint and that is Sandy Beach chalk paint. And I have had people ask me like, how do you choose your colors or whatever? It's really a feeling that I get in my gut that tells me um, what colors. I don't know how to explain it other than I just have a feeling immediately when I put that magenta down that my gut said, ah, no, 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 wrong move, wrong move. So uh, go with your gut always. And I am going to dry this um, paint uh, really well. And because I put that gesso down, it really has some good tooth, so it's kind of grabbing um, the colors really well. If you don't gesso the page, you may not get this exact result. So, I'm going in with my Uhu glue stick, and because, well, I think it's one of the easier and better ways to use um, copper leaf or any type of leaf, gold leaf, silver leaf. Um, it's just really easy to do it with a glue stick than it is to um, use the actual glue for the gold leaf. So, just a little tip. I'm going to go in now with, um, oh, I'm just going to paint some paper for you. <laughs> I did this video like a, a week ago or so when I was off. And uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm just going to use that little extra giblets because, you know, paint... We got to stretch that stuff out and use it or lose it. So I didn't want those pretty colors, um, especially gold. And it's a little pricey. So I wanted to make sure I used it. So y'all got that little blurb in there. That's a Tiffany move. I do that pretty regularly. And now I'm going to take that um, copper leaf. And as you see, I'm just moving it around the page. And it's just going to create a little pop. I have a lot of um, watercolor and... Um, Derwent's ink tints pencils and stuff in that little pot there and so I'm just using that to mark make and as you will notice I'm going very far out so I'm using a very loose stroke because I like very loose lines 
Um, so I'm going to use that and you can get that effect if you hold the pencil at the very back of it so you're not really in control. It's just kind of moving and flowing throughout the page which is kind of um, the messy marks and scribbles that I like. And then I'm going in with a few different colors there and I actually did not, I think that's lime peel. I'm not sure what the other one was. That was a... Uh, um, that was one of those uh, pencils that I used. And then I tinkered a little bit with um, the fabric down there. And I ended up stapling it on because I just love how the textures kind of flow. And then I had this little giblet. And that's a technical term, okay? So a little giblet of cheesecloth that had been, I think this has been rust dyed. And it was just kind of like stuck to something else <laughs> does that happen to you <laughs> and so I'm gonna staple it over to the corner and just kind of like let it flow around and now I'm taking some new pastels and I'm just making some marks the new pastels really like I'm not gonna absorb is the wrong word but because of the gesso it doesn't need like I'm rubbing the page right now and it didn't really need any spray because it kind of set into um, the gesso and the other colors. So guys, I am freaking in love with how this page turned out. I do feel like I will be doing a canvas of sorts um, with these colors and kind of marks that I made. It was super enjoyable. Um, I hope that this video encourages you to try something new, step outside the norm, grab those pastels. Um, I've really been enjoying using pastels lately and I have a Dick Blick ordered that hopefully will be here today so I can show you guys um, some of the colors and maybe I'll do a haul video. Huh. I don't buy a ton of supplies, so I very seldom do that, but I will put that on the books to show y'all what I got. And I'm going in here with, this is a China marker in white, and I just felt like I wanted some more scribbles because, well, that's kind of the kind of girl I am. I'm a scribbly kind. And then I found this word, um, speculation, that was peeking outside of my large print book that I typically have very close by. And I'm making some scribbles all around it, and that's pretty much going to be a wrap. Now, because this is the last Monday, I don't know what the new series is going to be. <sighs> i got to work on that. Hmm. If y'all have some, some suggestions about what you would like to see in my next YouTube series, make sure you comment below and leave me some suggestions. I am going to create over here on the opposite side, I'm going to write the recipe and the materials that I used. As I talked about, I dab a little bit, so when I go back and I want to reference this book, I will be able to look back and know pretty much what I used on every page so that I can duplicate um, or at least know the colors that were used so I can reference them. And guys, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope that if you're not a subscriber that you will click the subscribe button. It does help me a lot. Um, when you guys give me the thumbs up and leave me a comment. And again, I'm looking for suggestions on what you would like the next series to be. Make sure you stay tuned to take a look at the close-ups of this project. Until next time, guys. Toodaloo!